back to the Karnataka developments, all the important meetings which are happening here in the national capital. Mr. D.K. Shivkumar is here in Delhi and he's all set to meet Malikarjun Kharge, the Congress president, around 5 p.m. There's also a possibility that there could be some kind of late night announcement, but we are keeping a close tab on all the developments coming in. Mr. Siddharamaya, D.K. Shivkumar, both here in the national capital. Pallavi with us on the broadcast. Yes, Pallavi, please go ahead. So what we are now being told by the Congress office around 4.35 is when D.K. Shivkumar is expected to meet the Congress president. But we are also being told it is only a curtsy call. He's meeting him to thank him. That will always take that with pinch of salt. As far as politics is concerned, the decision has already been made. For the point of view, uh, an opinion of D.K. Shivkumar would be taken. After all, he's been the he is the state president. Also, he's been the one who ensured a cohesive, united campaign, of, uh, which later would have been for his party. That's one. Uh, when I did ask this question about whether a decision would be taken, they said, you know, we are uh, trying to finish it off as soon as possible because the task of governance has to go on. And more importantly, the other states which require attention. So I would not rule out the possibility of even a late night announcement of who's going to be the CM phase. One of the main reasons really in all of this is the longer they delay and the more they delay, the more restlessness in the party cadre. And it's very important to quieten them down. And that's only possible when you announce the CM phase. The official line that the Congress party has maintained, which the argument that can be bought to some extent is that there's no delay. We're only taking the due reasonable time, which is required. But they, but they realize the perils of uh, each minute passing by and a decision not taken. Oh, yes, absolutely. They do realize. Uh, you know what happens is that, first of all, uh, the, the restlessness increases. You'll have the cadre going out on the streets of Bengaluru and other parts of Karnataka. And the second important thing is Rahul Gandhi made it very clear. First day, first cabinet and all the five guarantees will be fulfilled. They, they need to set an example. They need to show that they understand governance. BJP has not understand governance. And that's one of the main reasons why they would be in a hurry to kind of announce as the CSK. Who's going to be the chief minister of Karnataka so that the first cabinet and those five guarantees are approved? Right. And then, you know, it became Muslim at a stronger position according to Congress party as far as Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, and the Madhya Pradesh elections are concerned. Pallavi Ghosh getting us all the perspective and information. So, yes, it's a reasonable time that they've taken, but they realize the value of each minute and the kind of discontent it can generate amongst the party cadres and they have the a tough task of governance and the cabinet formation. We'll continue tracking all those developments right now, uh, slipping into a very short place.